Every day we put our trust in things that we cannot see for ourselves. One example is the weight of the goods we purchase. At many markets throughout Africa, merchants use container-like tin cans to measure their goods. Because this is not a precise form of measurement, this is to the detriment of consumers like Jane. That cash that I get, I have to use it wisely. I do like the wind scale, not for the can, because for the can, maybe it's not full. They just measure by the look of it. They say like, this, this might be a kg, half a kg, or something. But for the weighing scale, that's better because you're knowing and it's very accurate. Another area where trust comes into play is when it comes to drinking water. In Africa, it can be difficult to trust that the water you drink will not make you sick. The biggest problem concerning the water is the contamination. Because the water that is used here is tapped from the mountains, from the highlands up there, the highlands, and they have tap the water in an open space. That's where other animals and cows go and take water from. And from the source, it gets contaminated. Water contamination is also a problem in African cities. But in cities, a better treatment and supply is possible. Before, when we had not dug the borehole, there were so many diseases that we are brought from the water that they are taking before. But now from when we started giving them supply of water, they have been less diseases. So they trust the water so much. The authorities have been very, we have worked together. They have been coming here, they have been inspecting. So the people have a lot of trust in this water. Like it is with drinking water, Better quality within other areas of African infrastructure leads to better quality of life for African people. And likewise, lower quality products or incorrect measurements can have consequences. In some places we get that you, what you have paid for is not what you've been given. Because uh, you might fuel in this fuel station, at, uh, you get a uh, Maybe you pay for 10 liters. Maybe your vehicle goes uh, with one liter. One liter, it can go to at about 10 kilometers. But in this case, you might find that uh, it, it hardly goes to that 10 kilometers. It may be going to, it might take about five or six kilometers. So by the end of the day, you'll see that uh, you are being cheated. These are only three of many, many examples of the importance of quality, measurements, and testing in Africa. And all these stories are about trust. But how can we trust in something we cannot check for ourselves, like the accuracy of a weight scale at the market or like the correct filling of a tank at the petrol station? How can we detect something that is not visible like toxic elements or pathogens in drinking water? We are looking at the very tiny components within particular products to make sure that they are safe. An example will be something like toxic elements in different materials. We may not see them by our own eyes, but they may be present in these products Tom and his colleagues are working to achieve quality assurance throughout Africa. They are building up capacity for reliable testing, correct measurements, standardization, accreditation, and much more. Together, these aspects make up quality infrastructure. A good quality infrastructure can deliver the right measurements and give the right assurance that a common person will need to be sure that the product they are buying, first, it meets the quality requirements, and two, it is also safe to use. People's lives depend on this. 
in a big way. Better quality infrastructure in Africa will definitely lead to better quality of life, not just for Africans, but for everybody else out there in the whole world. Yep. This year, quality infrastructure has a place, and this place is Africa.